Welcome back to JSA TV, where we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming to you live from Las Vegas from the show floor of Yada. And joining me now on JSA TV, we have Laura Lotrello, COO of Applied Digital. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, you guys have quite a lot going on. I'm, I'm talking to your team that you work with a lot, and I'm always very amazed and impressed at all of the great work that you guys Thank are doing. You. So let's get right into it, Laura. You guys recently shared new insights on the total cost of ownership for AI infrastructure, which is absolutely huge. It was a very eye-opening report. Can you share a little bit about some of the key findings from that report? Oh, absolutely. So a lot of times when you're looking for a site for your next data center, people think about fiber, they think about the location for the best power optimization, and they think about business friendliness. What is often not considered in total cost of ownership and what we thought about in addition was location in terms of climate and, lo and design of the building. Because both of those can reduce the power and cooling costs that you have in your data center. So for power, we looked for renewable stranded energy that we could use to help protect the grid because often that energy was curtailed before we were able to use it. And that lowers our power rates and it also drives sustainability. And then when we looked at our design on cooling, we chose a cooler climate. So Polaris Forge, our site is built in North Dakota and North Dakota offers 100 more free cooling days than our headquarters state of Texas. And what that means is that we don't need to use mechanical refrigeration. We don't need to turn the power on to cool the liquid that is used to cool the servers. So you get 100 days where you could just send the liquid outside, have it cooled in the dry cooler yard, have it come back in and cool the data halls and go back out. And that certainly reduces the overall power costs. So we work to reduce the power cost and we work to reduce the power consumption to drive down the total cost of ownership. A lot of nature's air conditioning, as they say, <laughs> in North Dakota. Yes? yes. And I've been to Texas. Very, very different out there. So Completely. yeah, I, I love that you're able to use what the land is giving you naturally. So you talked about power, which is obviously one of the big things that, that we talk about when we talk about data centers. Another topic that I feel like I cannot re, you know, go through the news stories of the day and not see an article about water and how much water people think data centers consume. So how are you combating that narrative? And what sure. are you doing to work around that? Sure, data centers have gotten a bit of a bad rap, especially recently on water consumption. And one of the things we did in our design is most of the time when you're using water, you're using evaporative cooling, meaning the water comes into the data halls, then it goes out and it just evaporates. Ours is a closed loop sy system. So the water goes into the data hall, gets hot, comes out of the data call to either the dry cooler yard on the cold days or to the chillers on the hot days, and then comes right back into the data hall. So our data centers use less water than a four person household. So it's, it's a tremendous feat to be able to say that we can get the cooling down, drive sustainability and reduce water consumption, which also reduces total cost of ownership. Yeah, and, and as a mom with two teenage boys who <laughs> need to take lots of showers, I know how much water we use. And so if you're doing less than yes. that, that's really an amazing feat and some really great innovative technology that you guys are leveraging for that. And I'm sure my teenage daughter competes with that. <laughs> I bet that, that, yes, I bet that she does for sure. So you talked a little bit about Polaris, Polaris Forge, excuse me, and how are you, you know, working with the community there to make sure that they're very aware of the benefits? There's, there's just a lot of great added value that the communities gain from having someone like yourselves come in. Yeah, that's a great question. At Apply Digital, we often talk about doing it the right way. And what that means for us is instead of just building a data center, we want to have a positive impact on the community. And we've done that at Polaris Forge by partnering with Ellendale, both the officials, the community leaders, the residents, and the local businesses to both let them see firsthand what we're doing and to let them know and have transparent communications. Yeah. Our intent was to ensure that we built responsibly and sustainably. And we've done that by having um, open houses where the residents can come in and see the data center. They physically can see what's being built. 
we've had community events and we've had town halls so they can ask questions and we can answer them very transparently. And the impact that we're having in Ellendale has extended into the community. So we've created local jobs, we've increased the tax base, which helps pay for schools and public education along with public services. And it's helped our businesses grow, our, the local businesses, because they need to support the community and the jobs that have been created. So it's, it's, we took stranded renewable power, we transformed it into productive use, and with that, we were able to grow and gain impact into our overall community. And what our tenet is, is we want Polaris Forge to be more than just an AI factory. We want it to be a positive impact long-term in our community. Well, absolutely. Keep up all of the great work. It's always great to catch up with you guys at, Thank at Applied you. and learn more about what you guys are working on. So where can our viewers go to learn more if they just want to keep, keep tabs? You're always welcome to find us on AppliedDigital.com and you can see some of the latest updates and you will obviously see us in social media. All right. And here at Yada, she'll be around. So, so grab, grab the team uh, if you guys just want to have a chat. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank, thank you. you so much to our viewers for tuning in and stick around. We've got a lot more to come here from the show floor of Yada.